For today's video, I'm going to be doing a spring thrift haul. I've been accumulating all of these items for the past month and a half, and every time I go to the thrift store, I will just add to the pile that is happening on the side of my room right now. I have just gotten to the point where I'm like, I need to film this video already because the pile is getting too large. I thought today would be a good day to do that and I hope you guys will enjoy this video and you know, just sit back, relax, and I will show you guys everything that I have thrifted over the last month and a half. I am labeling this spring haul and I know a lot of the pieces are like spring related, but I also have some items that aren't necessarily spring, but I'm gonna show you guys those anyways. And yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy and let's get started. I literally have so much stuff to show you guys. I even have more in front of me. So let's just get into this because there's a lot to show you guys. So first up, we have this beautiful bag that I thrifted and I love the shape of this. I really like how the handle is long because I like wearing purses like this and it's just like the perfect length and it's not like too small because like that one that's hanging up right here is like I can't really wear it on my shoulder because it's too small of a loop so i really love this i think this is perfect and yeah it's just like this shiny material and it's by the brand liz claiborne which if you guys watch my channel you know that that's one of my favorite brands to find in the thrift store they always have really nice 90s items in the thrift store so there's actually three pockets there's one on the top one on the other side and then in the middle there's like a zipper little pocket so very functional and I'm excited to start wearing this. All right, next up we have this jean jacket and I really wasn't in the market to buy a jean jacket. Like I have enough and I just literally don't need one. But when I saw this one, I had to get it because it was different than the other ones that I have. I love this color. It's like this nice green kind of, like it's like a muted green. And then the inside has this fabric so it's very comfortable and it's like already so worn in. This is super nice, really, really love this. Even the back has like the suede detailing on it. This is just a really great staple piece that I think I will probably end up getting rid of one of my other jean jackets in replace of this one because this one's just so nice and I think I will get a lot of wear out of this. So next up, I thrifted this baseball looking tee and I think it's super cute. It says Great Smoky on it. So like Great Smoky Mountains. Very cute, and I really don't have anything like this, and I love like the whole like athleisure wear, sport wear kind of look, but I don't have like a baseball tee like this. So I think this will be really nice to incorporate into my spring wardrobe. So next up, I have three tank tops to show you, and the first one is kind of like a lingerie-esque looking top. I think this is super cute, and I already tried this on, and it fits me really well, and I like how it kind of looks like a champagne color. It's not exactly like nude colored because when I wear shirts that match like my skin tone it just doesn't flatter me at all but I feel like this one does because it has a little bit of a shine and it's a little bit darker and I think it's super cute it has some lace on the sides and it has a little bow in the front and it's very flattering looking because if you can see there's like stitching going down the front and it's just very flattering so very happy to have found this this was $3. And then next up, I picked up two pretty basic pieces, but I love finding basics at the thrift store because they're always so much less expensive than buying them in the stores. Except for this one, it was $9, but it's because it was a name brand, so it's by the brand Guess. And I was contemplating not getting this because it was $9, but I just thought it was really cute. And even if it wasn't Guess, like I still would want it. So I thought this was nice because, okay, I don't know if you guys can see the actual, like, print on it but yeah it just looks like this it has like a skull and wings it's kind of like hardcore but I what I wanted to do with it or like what my vision was was to crop it and just wear high-waisted jean pants and I think it would look really cute I feel like I saw like a celebrity in the 90s wear this and I can't like exactly picture it in my head so if you guys know of anybody who would wear this cropped with jeans although they would probably wear low-rise jeans and I'm not about that so I'm wearing high-waisted jeans, but anyways, I just thought this was really cute and I couldn't pass it up. Then I just thrifted this plain white tank top and you can basically find these at every single store, but finding it at the thrift store was nice, and especially because this was brand new already with tags. It was from JCPenney. And what I wanna do with this is, again, just do a straight raw cut and wear it on its own and just use it for layering. This was $5, I think. You know, it's a nice staple and I will definitely get some wear out of that. Next up, I found two pairs of shorts. 
this first one I'm very excited about because I'm kind of all about like I know we've all been in the comfy life this past year but I'm really just channeling that going into 2021 like I just I just can't not be comfortable these days like I've just gotten too comfortable in my sweats so that I just need to bring that energy into this next season of my life so I found these and I think these are gonna be great I love that it has like the stretchy waist the little tie and I like this color a lot I like how they're a little bit longer like do you guys remember when like short shorts were in that was like a really low time of my life they're not the most flattering piece of clothing that has ever existed you know so I'm just here for the long shorts I think it's cute it's fun and it's practical so the other shorts that I thrifted are these ones right here and I love all of the pockets on them like I love this color as well but I'm not like the hugest fan the hugest the biggest fan of this army green color but I think with all of the details of these shorts they make it really cute so I love like the two pockets on the front and then it has this little Levi's patch on it and overall I just think these are really cute and I love how they're so high-waisted and they're a little bit longer as well so these just kind of remind me of going to camp like going to summer camp I don't know why but I feel like I had some of these back in the day really happy about these and these were $6.50 next up I thrifted this tank top and that now that I'm looking at it right now like I kind of hate this I don't know why I thrifted this I could not tell you but I think this was actually half off so it was yeah I think I got it because it was half off and it was only $2.50 so this was literally like $1 so that's why I got it, but I don't know if I love it. Now, let me know if you guys like this or if you think I should try to style this. I'm not sure. I don't love it, but I also don't hate it. I just don't know if I'll ever wear it, but we'll see. We'll try to make an outfit out of that. Okay, next up, I thrifted this dress. And again, this is one that I'm like, I like it, but I don't know if I love it. I don't know. It definitely gives me like 90s vibes with this heart zipper. So that I'm really vibing with. So at the time when I saw this, I thought it was cute, but now looking at it, like I just don't know if it's my style anymore. So let me know what I should do with this um, or if I should just sell it on my Poshmark, but this was $7. Okay, next up I have two two-piece sets and I don't know how I feel about them. I feel like that's kind of an issue that I've been having lately is like, I think because I can't try on stuff at the thrift store anymore that I just like don't know if I like it. That's the thing. That's that's really the big issue is like not being able to try on stuff at the thrift store. Then I come home and I'm like, do I actually like this? It's really annoying. This is the top. It's like this blazer. I do really like this color. I think it's really pretty. And then it has matching pants, which the pants actually fit me really well. And they just kind of like billow out. And this set was $10. This could be cute. It could be like a nice little 90s number, but I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. I feel like this whole video is like, I don't know if I like it, but I mean, just a few items. The rest I know I like, but this is a little questionable. Okay, this next one is definitely questionable, but it's because I want to do a thrift flip to this one. So just hear me out. Um, they might be a little alarming because they were, because I tried these on when I got home and I was like, this is so, this makes me uncomfortable. Like seeing myself in these, they're pants, but they're like mid-length flowy pants which just makes me uncomfortable it's just a little frightening and then there is this matching top that we have here what I have planned for the thrift flip is obviously we're gonna chop these bad boys off we're not gonna have the long gaucho pants situation so what I'm thinking is just like cutting them and making them into shorts because they're already nice and high-waisted we love a high-waisted moment cutting them a bit will do the trick and then we're, we're gonna have to see what I do with this I think I might just leave it like this, but then from the extra fabric that we have on the bottom of these pants, I was thinking about doing like some sort of top. So this would transition into a three piece set. I don't know, I'm kind of like, what am I doing? But I do really like this pattern. I think it's very in right now because pastels are in, they're making a comeback. So I just thought I would hop on the trend and do a little thrift flip. Ooh, I could actually make a scrunchie out of this too. It could be like a four piece set. Let me know what you guys think about that. Okay guys, we are almost done. I have the rest that's in this bag right here. Let's go. So it wouldn't be one of my hauls if I didn't include a crew neck sweater. So here she is. Um, this is her moment to shine. It's just like a nice college-esque. I don't even know if it actually is college. Actually, it looks like it's a high school. It says Baldwin High. 
So it's like a football high school sweater. I just really love my crew necks. Like I, it's really hard for me to say no to a cute crew neck. It's just hard, you know? So the last four t-shirts are all from the same Poshmark seller and her name is Rebecca and she actually reached out to me on Instagram and she sent me one of her shirts that she was selling and she was like, I think you would love this. And right away when I saw it, I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy this right now. So I went and bought it and I'm gonna show you guys it. So she definitely watches my videos because she knows that I love finding things from the Olympics, especially from 1996 because that's the year that I went so yeah, it's just nice to have a little bit of vintage memorabilia from your childhood, you know? Okay, I just realized that 1996 was the hundredth year of the Olympics. I actually didn't know that. It's really large, but I think wearing it with just some jeans or, you know, just some bike shorts or something will be nice for the summer and springtime. So I got this and then she also sent me three other shirts without me even knowing. Like I didn't know she was sending this stuff. So I was very happy and I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Rebecca because she definitely did not have to do this, but I'm very appreciative and they are all Harley shirts. So I'm gonna just go through these and show you guys them. And I'm also gonna leave her Poshmark down below if you guys wanna check it out. I will leave that in the description. But here's the first one. It just says Harley Davidson USA, very cute. And the back looks like this. It says it's from Austin, Texas, which I should send this to Jessica actually, cause she moved to Austin. And then the second one, it looks like this. I love the flames of this. I think it's so cute. And she said that she sent this one because it says Chicago, Illinois, which is where I live or like, you know, it's like an hour away from me, but still like I was born in Illinois. So that was very kind and thoughtful of her. And this next one that I have is this dark gray color, which I don't have any Harley shirts that are this dark gray, so this is super nice. And the back looks like this, it says East Side, and I really like the font of this on the back. So that is it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and whenever I make outfits out of some of these items, I will be posting them on my Instagram, so make sure to check out my Instagram, it's just Leah Prips, and I would love to have you guys follow me over on there. But that is it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my next video, peace. Gotta let her know that she my white horse, she my medical She like my baby mama, know how to take care of me Get my baby problems, you gon' regret everything So I let her know, gotta let her know